Leo, hello there, my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for mid-June 2024. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know I appreciate each and every single one of you beautiful people out there. So let's get right down to business, as always, and start you off with an oracle card here, just so we could dip our toes into energy and see what's happening for the lovely Leos in mid-June. It's Gemini season. We're getting very close to your birthday already. Hope you guys are getting prepared, but let's do this here. My guide's talking. What do you got for Lake Leo? Energies, messages, insights, all that good stuff. And yeah, we're just going to take a real quick look at this first card. Then we'll get into the full reading itself. At the very end, I'll pull you a bonus card from the Shadowland Tarot. Just to see what might be in the shadows or what shadow work you can lean in on, which is always interesting. But let's get it going here. Let's rock and see what we got for Leo. Please, in mid-June... I mean, early-ish, mid-June, right? But let's go. What do we have for my good friends, please? What's happening? Yeah. Wow, that card came out in a funky way, but we're taking it. Now, this looks really good to me, and this card doesn't come out often. I really like it because it is a future focus type of energy. There's, like, good things. There's goals. There's achievements. It's a very simple piece of imagery, but there's a lot happening here. Now, before we fully dive into it, if you're new here, I'll be speaking about the June subscriber surprise towards the end, so you might want to check that out. Also, if you could kindly illuminate that like button by tapping it right on its third eye, you know I'd greatly appreciate it. But enough of the promo into the reading. Let's talk a little bit more about this card. So yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. You see this lovely lady in the blue dress. She is standing on the beach. She is looking out to sea. We see these big structures up in the sky. They're kind of like checkpoints or goal marks. That's how I see it. And there's rainbows coming out of them. So I do feel for a lot of Leos, it's like really future focused time. If that's not something if you're, that you're doing. I mean, I know conventional spirituality always says like, hey, live in the present. But I mean, sometimes we need to look forward and make plans or at least have goal points to reach for and that's what this card represents so i feel like a lot of you are either doing that or will shift into this energy very soon the rainbows here are extremely positive i think a lot of leos have some really good positive things coming up in the near future when this is here so i like it okay so we're not going to overcomplicate the message very simple um Full steam ahead, right? Fire sign type of energy, and that's what I really like about this. So we're just going to put her down right there. Let's get into tarot, see what's happening for the lovely Leos. And yeah, I always say that first card, it doesn't make or break the reading. It's just a little footnote. So let's get it going. Three cards here in the upright for my dear friends in mid-June, early to mid-June for Leo. And while we get this all shuffled up and ready to go, let's talk about last week's reading, my friends. Pretty positive energy. And one thing I will say is for a few weeks now, that classic Leo magnetism felt like it's been on full display, that you're pulling lots of things towards you, whether it's people, whether it's situations. I, feel, I just felt attraction coming in in a very strong way. And yeah, last week's reading was titled A Serious Win. So whether it's something that you've been taking seriously, going your way, or something spirit wants you to work out a little harder. That was the energy I was picking up. So let's see what we should get for you this week. As you know, energy is very fluid. It's never set in stone. So only take this how it hits for you because we could be seeing your vibe or something that you're linked to. Let's get it going though. Three cards for Leo, please. What's going on from your dear friends? Wow, victory, beautiful. I mean, we're picking up where we left off last week. That's for sure. I don't want to get too overly optimistic just yet. Really nice. And believe it or not, this card is Leo energy. Okay, and I'll, I'll explain that in a moment. But let's get a couple more here. What do we have for Leo? Come guys, talk to me. What's happening for my friend? Yeah, wow. Emperor energy, lots of fire. This is all about action, forward movement, making things happen. Um, could be an Aries that you're connected to. It's absolutely possible here. But let's get you one more. And we'll really start piecing this together quick. All right, hanged man. Hmm, very sturdy. There could be something you're really analyzing or taking a cold, hard look at when the hanged man shows up. All right, so Leo, what I'm picking up and what I'm seeing here is a lot of major arcana, lots of powerful energy. So we're going to need to deconstruct this a little bit, but let's go through. I'll give you some of the classical meanings and archetypes, then we'll get into that juicy, intuitive stuff. So at first look, first glance, like I mentioned, there is a lot of fire here, which is an element that you're very comfortable with because you are a fire sign with the six of wands, the emperor, Aries energy. It's like, okay. Let's take action. Let's do this. Let's move something forward. The only thing that's really 
I don't even want to say it's concerning me is this hanged man is the total opposite of what we have going on here. So is this a roadblock? Is this like a thorn in the side? Is this something you need to hurdle over? We're, we'll see when we get there, but let's go through one by one and really start to build this out because I feel like there's a lot of positivity, even with the major arcana, very powerful themes. But position number one, we have the six of wands. Love it. So you see this individual it looks like they're marching in a parade. They have that laurel above their head. And to me, this is a card of complete and total victory coming out on top. Now, other things we could think about with this card are the spotlight, gaining recognition, gaining notoriety. It is an attention grabber type of energy. That's why I said like, so the magnetism I've been seeing for a couple of weeks, it's showing up here once again, very positive result. It could speak about getting recognition for the things that you've done and rightfully so with this card. Now, Every card in tarot has positives and challenges. I already gave you a whole list of the positives here. A challenge here could be watching the ego, right? Like make sure the ego doesn't get too inflated or anything like that. Don't be be confident. Don't be cocky. Like that's the kind of type of vibe we have going here. I mean, there could even be a person you're dealing with that has a bit of an ego on them, right? It all really depends on your situation. But we're just going to place that right there. It's a positive card. I'm not going to make it a negative until I see the clarifier, of course. Now, moving to the center, we have big boss energy here, the emperor himself. So some of you, you might have Aries placements. Maybe you're connected to an Aries. That's possible. If we're not talking about a zodiac sign, the emperor is an authority figure. OK, so when we see this victory and this authority figure, it's like, all right, I made the right move. I did the right thing. I made the right call. This is really good energy and I love it. Now, the emperor could sometimes get a bit of a bad reputation in tarot. Remember, he's the counterpart to the emperor. So there is abundance with this card as well. Um, but this one is more about like taking action as opposed to like letting it just come to you. So we kind of have that vibe of like magnetism and action. Like, should I just let it come to me or should I go to it? It's like that balancing act when we have this. The rough side of this, there could be someone you're connected to that's a little overly controlling, right? That could be an energy with the emperor. Um, brutish sometimes, like someone that's like super aggressive. So we'll see where this really lands. I like the emperor until once again, I see a clarifier that tells me otherwise. So we're going to tuck him in right there next to the six of wands. And remember, fire energy, it's all about inner passion, taking action, moving something forward. So it's like, we're good, we're going, we're moving, things are happening. And we have this hanged man right here on the back end. So I link this to two zodiac signs, Virgo and Scorpio. And once again, it doesn't have to be. But the hanged man is a pulled back, retracted type of energy. Whereas these energies are moving forward and moving towards things. This one is like stopping or even pulling back. So we have like this push and pull type of energy that we're going to want to look into further. The hanged man could be self-sacrifice in one form or another. You might be the type of person where you would give the shirt off your back to people that you care about. Um, it's just, I'll do anything for the people I love type of energy or the people I care about. The hanged man also is very analytical. So it could represent keeping tabs on something. There might be a situation you're keeping tabs on. There might be uh, a person keeping tabs on you, like it could be all that stuff, and it's plan-based. And I saw this in the errors reading as well. There's something around strategy and planning. Um, when we get to the rougher aspects of the hanged man, it could represent delays. It could represent problems. It could represent a thorn in the side or something you've been dealing with for quite a while. Do I feel like it ruins the reading? Absolutely not. But when we go from this flow of energy to this like screeching, whoa, 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 we're going to want to look at it further. So I want to dive deeper on all of it, Leo. Let's jump in and clarify. Let's got it. Let's get a good shuffle here for my friends. Let's see what's happening. My guides talk to me. Here we go for the lovely Leos. And yes, this is where I go intuitive with the message, which means I just tell you how it feels to me. So feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot, because as you know, every single reading is about the reader's interpretation, and I'm just giving you mine. Let's go in on that six of wands. Oh, and yes, if you're a reader yourself, please feel free to play along. That's why the box is here. If you're feeling any messages you want to give to Leo, you could drop it in the comments. I don't mind at all. Okay, six of wands. Why is it here? Thank you. Quick. Really, really fast. Okay. A lot of Leos are going to have a very interesting summer here. There is something that's moving forward. And I feel like, and I don't normally get this. This happens a lot when I do personal readings, but 
in general readings, I don't normally get time frames, but now we have like cancer energy and your energy. It's like the summer, at least in the Northern hemisphere, the summertime or your season, the next couple of months seems like it's going to be very interesting. But what do we think about with the chariot? It's in full motion, full go. Let's make it happen. The complete opposite of what we have here on the back. So when I see it under a card of victory, I feel like a lot of you have something massive coming in. Now, could that be in the realm of love? Sure. Could that be in the realm of emotion and career it really depends on what you are focusing your energy on in this time but i i feel for a lot of leos the focus of your desire or focus of what you're putting your energy towards has really big implications of like massive victory and i absolutely love it there's good energy around uh travel and distance transportation even so if some of you are wanting to buy like a new vehicle or upgrade in that area this could be it there's just a lot of good positivity here now, for another portion of you, if you are connected to a cancer, they could be showing up here. There's really good positive energy that they could be sending you in the short term. But I feel for a lot of you, if we're not talking about the time frame, this massive energy of victory, remember the magnetism pulling things towards you, like there's good vibes here. So I feel for a lot of you, there's a positive result upcoming for sure. Let's keep moving forward. For some of you, I mean, maybe you're just trying to keep a very positive mindset. Because remember, I said like this could be someone that's extremely confident. Then we have this forward movement. It's like, no, I already won. It's like giving me that type of energy. So let's see what the emperor has to say. Let's see what that emperor has. Because I really feel like the crux of the matter is going to be when we get to this hanged man. Because I've, I've been feeling the flow here in the beginning. And it feels nice. So let's see what the emperor has to say. So let's go in. Why is the Emperor here? Queen of Cups. Lots of water in the un undercurrent of this energy. The Queen of Cups is a divine feminine aspect, and I really like it. Water sign energy here. She is very nurturing, caring. For a lot of you, you could be trying to like keep your emotions in check in regards to something where it's like, no, no, no. I'm going to keep this under control. And listen, I'm a fire sign myself. I totally get it. We, we burn hot, right? Uh, so whether it's in positive sense or even rougher sense, we just burn hot from time to time. I feel for a lot of you, you have great emotional control in this time, or you will. Um, if that's not you, when I see the emperor with the queen of cups in the upright, there is a lot of love and balance here in the center. So if we are talking partnerships, Leo, there's good energy here for that right here in the center, like with the masculine feminine, it, it kind of comes in like a yin yang. There's good partnership energy here as well. But yeah, the queen of cups, if it's not a water sign, nurturing, she's a mother figure and it's super creative and loving it's one of my favorite cards out here in regards to court cards so i really like what i'm picking up so good energy is kind of across the board so far until we get to this back and really see what's up um, but yeah there is somebody trying to keep their emotions in check whether that's you or somebody else it's like no, no i'm not gonna react i'm cool i can control this it's like everything's cool everything's fine so maybe there's something you're trying to not get too excited about or there's something you're trying to not get too down about it really depends let's keep moving forward see what's up like to me it feels like someone being very even keeled that's like the big vibe here so let's see what the hanged man has to say which i like that you know because when i see readings where the emotional aspects are like very volatile and explosive i'm like all right you need to watch out there might be rough things coming up i like what i'm seeing so far so even if this is a problem or a situation of some sort i feel you working through it and working with it well if that makes sense but let's go in on the hanged man why is the hanged man here? Please. Thank you. Okay. A couple of things. All right. So this isn't a deal breaker here on the back end, but I do feel for a lot of you, <laughs> to me, it's like, all right, well, every, everything else was so good. Why did this even have to pop up? Like, it feels kind of annoying, kind of like a nuisance, if that makes sense. There could be... Uh, there could be a problem you're dealing with. There could be a situation you're dealing with. Even though we have all this beautiful energy here up front, this one, it's like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. I'll deal with it for the time being. Now, the Ten of Wands in reverse, there's another side message here for some of you, which could be very important. There's great energy here for a lot of Leos around taking a vacation, okay? And I know that's completely separate from what we've been talking about, but with what we have here in the front and what we have here on the back, the Ten of Wands in reverse under the Hanged Man, it's like, okay, 
just take a break, take a rest. Like you might need to recharge the batteries here. So there's great energy around taking a little vacation or a trip. Now the 10 of wands is usually a burden type of energy, heavy, you know, someone with a lot of weight on their shoulders doing a lot, expending a lot of energy. So when I see it in reverse underneath the hanged man to me, it's like, okay, well, let me think about this. Let me stop for a second. Let me think about this. So if you are going through any problems or situations, it's okay to pump the brakes. That's a vibe like, all right, well, you don't have to steamroll through it. Um, you don't have to let it ruin everything, but yeah, there could be a problem or situation here that needs tending, if that makes sense. Like it needs your attention, but take your time to really like think about it. Like don't make snap decisions. Okay. Like to me, it's spirit saying like, all right, well be strategic about this. Okay. Like, don't be in impulsive if that makes sense. So there's good energy here too, but this energy on the back end, it's like, okay, well, everything else is so good. What the hell? Like why it, it's. And, but again, no, I don't feel like this is deal breaker type of energy. So watch out for that this coming week. Um, but again, for some of you, if that's not even the case, like great energy to take a trip. But let's go through and do a quick recap here, Leo, because a lot of different things were coming through. Then we'll get into the shadow card. But if you kindly look in the box, position number one, beautiful. We're starting off so strong. We have the six of wands with the chariot here. I did say for a lot of you, the next coming months, there's, it's going to be very interesting for a big chunk of you. Because we have like Leo energy and Cancer energy. That's coming up right after Gemini season, which we're in right now. There's great energy around trips already showing up here. Uh, around upgrading your transportation. I know that's a very niche message, but it's here for a lot of you if that's something you're wanting to do. But a big vibe I was picking up is this really like tremendous victorious type of energy and i like it it's very exciting for a big chunk of you it could be in the realm of partnerships but it could just be something in, like career or life in general moving to the center we have the emperor with the queen of cups as i said very balanced even though it's fire and water to me this is a very balanced energy masculine feminine great energy around partnerships here so whether this is like someone that comes into your life or someone that's already there i like this vibe it works well together um, another thing I was picking up though, is someone just trying to keep their emotions in check. Okay. So whether that's a person or whether that's you, it's like, all right, I'm not going to let this affect me. I'm not going to show like, I'm, I'm going to keep it calm. I'm cool. Everything's fine. On to the back end. We have the hanged man with the 10 of wands in reverse. Now I did say to me, this does feel like it could be a problem or a situation you might be dealing with where like, yeah, there's a lot of good things happening, but it's like, all right, well, why, why now? Or why is this popping up? It's like kind of annoying here, but again, it's okay to like pump the brakes on something if you need to, or stop and think, okay? Like you don't always have to just steam, steam roll through all any problems and situations. It's okay to like take your foot off the gas and like strategize and plan. Again, though, there is great energy around taking a rest, taking a break, recovering, vacationing, taking trips, loving what I'm seeing here on the split ends. So yeah, please take a screenshot of that, Leo. Let's see what's in the shadows for you real quick. All right, let's get a good shuffle. What do we got in the shadows for Leo? My God, spirit team, what's going on for my good friends? And yeah, I always like to pull one shadow card at the very end just to see whether it's something within you or something you don't quite see. Shadow cards don't always have to be a challenge. They could be a good thing. So let's get your one. Oh, and you've, if you've made it to this point in reading, please feel free to check out channel memberships. I'll put a link for it in the comments below. It's a beautiful way to support the channel, and I have much love for all my channel members. So let's get it going here. What do we got in the shadows? Nice and quick. Thank you. Okay, nine of wands, a little protective, a little skeptical type of energy, very protective. Um, there could be feelings of territorial uh, or feeling territorial in this time when this card shows up. Now, the Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior, right? And it shows up in a lot of different readings. And I do say, like, most individuals, most humans at, at a certain point in life, you, you have wounds, right? It's part of the life experience. Um, for a portion of you, there could still be one that you're working through. Right? Whether it's old or whether it's new, there could be something you're still working through. And this is someone that could be on guard. Now, yeah, there could be hurdles like we saw with the hanged man. There could be situations and problems where it's like, okay, is this going to get resolved? I feel like there's very good positive energy that it will. Um, 
if things are going super, super smooth right now with what we saw in the back end of the reading and what we're seeing here, just, just be ready for some, like a little twist of some sort where like something might pop up as it usually does in life. But a big thing I'm picking up here is that territorial vibe. So for a lot of you, if you're defensive or protective or territorial over someone or something that could get heightened in this week. So do with that information what you will, Leo. That's what I have for you this week, my friends. Don't click away just yet, though. I'm going to give you the details of the June subscriber surprise. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, my digital calendar is open on mastermetaphysics.com. So go ahead and check that out. And if you got your name in for the May subscriber surprise, the winners will be announced after this weekend's readings. But for the June subscriber surprise, I'm giving away two copies of one of my favorite decks, the Gilded Tarot Royale. So if you'd like to get your name in for that, it's two simple things. As always, my friends, first, you must be subscribed. And second, let me know down in the comments if you could snap your fingers and visit anywhere in the world right now. Where would it be? You'll be entered to win. And at the end of the month, the winners will be announced in my community tab. As always, my friends, much love. And I'll see you soon.